So what exactly happened in Kendra Vihar, Yelanka on the night of 21st October 2024? Here's an investigation by Propso. Kendra Vihar is a popular residential colony which is probably 20 years old, located in North Bangalore in a very populous location called Yelanka. Now, on the night of 21st October, there was apparently a cloud burst which resulted in massive flooding within this apartment complex. A lot of people are saying this happened because this property is located on the lake bed, which is why it was but natural for this project to get flooded. But why did this happen only in this monsoon and not in any other monsoon? What could have been the factors which could have affected this kind of flooding? Let's take a closer look at it. Interestingly, when you look at the topography of this entire location, you will notice that Kendriya Vihar is located at an elevation and not really at the lake bed itself, which is approximately 7 meters lower than it. But probably because of the intense rainfall, the lake was full and it caused an overflow which typically is managed by the couple of drains which are running along the lake and going and connecting to other lakes in the vicinity like Jakur Lake and Rachanali Lake. But due to rapid urbanization, these drains and Raj Kalways have been continuously getting blocked, choked with garbage or have been getting encroached. If you look at this image from 2012, the density in this location of built up area was quite less. If you quickly move to 2024, you will notice that there has been massive concretization of this entire area, right? When you concretize an area, what happens is there's more water running into a limited amount of open space. And this causes situations like the flooding which happened at Kendra Vihar. Also, this results in more and more garbage being dumped into the water bodies and into the drain networks, which causes choking of these drain networks. So what probably happened is Yelanka Lake got full because of the rainwater. It tried to uh, overflow into the drain networks, but the drain networks being choked already overflowed into Kendriya Vihar. Let's look at how Kendriya Vihar is located in the city development plan. Now, these are plans created by the government to kind of identify uh, the various uh, ecological situations, development situations and uh, infrastructure activities happening in parts of Bangalore. As you can see here, Kendriya Vihar lo is located in a residential uh, zone area, but it is surrounded on two sides by drains. This is one of the main drains. It's called a Raj Kalway. It's called a primary drain. And the green space around is the buffer of this drain. All around it is marked a eco-sensitive zone. Now, when you buy a property in an eco-sensitive zone, then you need to be aware that it has been marked so because there are chances uh, of this area getting flooded, of this area getting affected during heavy monsoons, which is why the government has specifically called out these zones. So if you're looking to buy a property in Bangalore and you have any doubts and you want to verify whether you're buying in an eco-sensitive zone, in a buffer zone, is there any encroachment on water bodies, do your investigation thoroughly before you actually make an investment in that particular property. If you found this useful, follow us for more such informative content on Bangalore at PropSearch. Thank you.